everybody welcome back to diva styles in this video i'm going to be creating a custom uh, halloween themed nutrition facts for my uh, chip bag that i'm going to be doing so i am uh, doing this out of the website uh, befunky.com um, <clears throat> this is a great website i use this um, all the time so i'm just starting with a orange um, just an orange background like i said it's for a halloween theme so let's go ahead and go to um, the letters, the text over here. Add text. Right now I'm just going to double click it and put nutrition facts. Then I'm going to go over here and of course um, make the text a lot bigger. While at the same time, let me change the font to, what do I want? Because I did download, um, like the Halloween font for the chip bag. So kind of want something that's, you know. Halloween, I guess, spooky, something like that. All right, so. Y'all, this is hard to do from my laptop because, like I said, my kids have messed up my buttons. All right, let's put that at the top. And let's add in some more text. Of course, we want to put uh, serving size one. Go ahead and make that bigger. Okay, and then for ideas on um, what to put up under it, I did go to Google and typed in Halloween uh, themed nutrition facts. So right here, I see that someone put, um, you know, tricks, treats, witches, bats, and goats. I'm not going to do it exactly like that, but um, that just gave me, you know, some ideas. So... Let's say pumpkins, space it, and then you want to put a hundred percent. Let's go ahead, make this font bigger. And from here on out, pretty much all we're going to do is just um, copy, copy and paste. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. For some, let me change. Let's see if they got some different fonts. Mm. Oh, okay, let's do this one. All right, that one's not bad. course let's move this up a little bit and then from here pretty much like I said you right click it and you can duplicate it once it duplicates you know go ahead and move it down and just you know just edit the text it's really really simple pumpkins uh, which is and then, you know, you just keep go ahead and, you know, just repeat that, repeat that process all over. And I do add in lines, but when I add in the, the lines to like separate the words, um, I usually do that in Publisher. So, which is, uh, 
candy. Of course, you got candy. Okay, what else? Okay, and then just so I can, you know, not take all day. And then down here, let's see. Ingredients. Let me see. Did they have anything special written on the um on the ingredients? They didn't even have one. Okay. Uh, let's just you know. Let's just look around a little bit. Mm -mm. That is definitely not what I mean. Nope. Like, you guys know what I'm looking for. You know what I'm looking for. Do the one on a regular chip bag come with the ingredients? Hmm, okay. Well, maybe I just don't put it. Um, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it anyway. And this, I'm going to put this in the same font as this one. All right, so we have that. That. So let's add some more text. Okay, so this is going to go below my ingredients. Let's go back down to the other font. Everything needed to make one, ooh, goodness, one great spooky party or spooktacular party, you know, whichever one. Go ahead and make this bigger. The ingredient should be bigger than Ooh, not that big. Not that big. Y'all tripping. All right, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this, but I just wanted to show you guys pretty much how I do it. Um, I'm going to add probably about two more items up here, and then I'm going to pretty much call this thing done. But all you would do is just click on Save, Save it to your computer. Um, Halloween, Halloween back. And that is pretty much it. And it's now saved. So if you have any questions or want me to go anything, you know, over anything uh, in more detail, uh, please let me know. 